Hey everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm David from Hungat Industries. Thank you very much for joining today. I know that was a long time you haven't seen me. We had no intro for a while. There was some technical issues, other things I had to sort out. Now we are here, full steam ahead. Oh yeah, I just pulled my finger out. That's gonna be an extended video, probably about 16 minutes. So I hope you're not gonna get bored. You're gonna have stressful moments because everything gonna be ripped out from the motorhome. Go back to bare metal, all the timber out, all the furniture is out. Stick around and have a look what we've done. Okay, I just realized working inside a motorhome, the camera what I used, it wasn't wide angle, it was a lot of details you just can't see. So I swapped into uh, a GoPro this time. So first of all, we can have a quick look around how it looks like. And then carry on working. First, I have to get rid of this mess. Luckily I have a friend. Actually, I asked him, can I just drop these stuffs? off at his place because I, I can't carry on <laughs> I have nowhere to put these things so I'm gonna load into my van get rid of it so I can carry on ripping out stuff so some of them I'm gonna still use some of them gonna go to the skip That's better. So now I have space and area to move around stuff and carry on taking things apart. I'm gonna focusing on the shower room, bathroom area, and just to be fair, just ripping it out. I have to be gentle, make sure I'm not gonna cause damage on the outside skin, like the outside wall.
bit more problem. There was a veneer on, on top, but behind it's still soaking wet. It's literally a fresh leak, still leaking. So um, I'm tracking back up to here. So I'm gonna take this panel off, same as what I did over there. It could be just a joint on the corner on the outside, but I'm not gonna leave this in. Just get rid of it. And start new, start fresh. The wall is clear now. All I have to do is clear this mess up. Oh my god. I managed to punch a little bit of hole over there. I'm gonna seal that one up. And also I'm gonna sort these out. Tidy up time. Leave this frame in for a second and just focusing on the bath area. I'm gonna do the same like the other side. Use a oil brush and just clean off all the questionable areas everywhere where we can see this white dust, this uh, oxidation. Same as the other side, all behind the dust, there's holes and corrosion. I have to check outside what's going on there. As soon as I start cleaning it off, it starts dribbling some water. And that's another hole there. And it wasn't there when I started doing it. So, yeah, um, I'm gonna treat it with underbody seal. So what happened here, you remember we had a, a big leak over there and, and actually I couldn't find it. When I cut this timber away, there is a joint and it was loose. So the water just came in and just made this area wet. So that's sorted. I'm glad I cut this one away because I'm not sure I would have noticed it until I actually seal it from the outside, which I plan to do anyway. So yeah, the floor is treated, and I show you the cupboard. So last night it was quite late night. I didn't record it, but managed to take out uh, bits and pieces. We got odd little holes here and there, which is which is not helping.
if you look into the cupboard no one touched this before so that's all the original that's the bench we've got our water tank here it's soaking wet down there as well so we probably got some issues in that corner those two bolts are for the outside ladder it's not really secure it's just, it's just going through the skin of the motorhome which is not ideal so I'm gonna get rid of the ladder that leak over there there's some leak over there I just removed the um, the covering the cladding there's no insulation it's, it's going really well going really well um, soon as I got the clear picture I will order my insulation which is gonna be the recycled plastic insulation it's all gonna be stripped out have a blank canvas insulated or cladded and then start designing the bed the kitchen the cupboard which is i think i'm gonna be a little bit shorter probably come down to 400 so have an extra extra seating area seating place so if my leg is touching the other wall and i literally I actually fit very well, so it's gonna work. Yeah, it's good. It's two person easily. Plus, if we got this extra 200 mil, that's gonna make a, a big difference. Soaking that dripping water, dripping water. It could be simple, just condensation. Wouldn't surprise me. That's the trouble. So where the cellotex was touching the surface, it's, there's no condensation. And there's no insulation at all. You got some serious condensation issue.
there's two holes, all the water dribbled in, top of the window, spread left and right, down the window, on the side. I managed to split open the skin over there. I'm gonna touch that up um, later. And I managed to rip off all the timber, revealing some holes, which is, has to be um, <coughs> cover up and look at the mess 15 minutes made this mess still a little bit to take off but um yeah that was it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video as you see there's a lot of work involved it was quite challenging. In our next episode, we're gonna carry on building the framework inside. Just crack on with the project. Please don't forget to subscribe. I would like to say a huge thank you to all the people who ordered Hunkat Industries t-shirt. Please check out the link below. In Cart UK, they're printing all the t-shirts and hats and mugs. So if you would like to support my channel, please make your order. See you next time.